Joining us now in the MMA Fight Corner, George Gamebred Masvidal, who's fighting at UFC on Fox 11. That's going down this Saturday from the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida. And this is the UFC's first time visiting the city of Orlando. And George, you are uh, actually from Florida, so getting to be on this card, it must be a pretty big deal to you. Oh, definitely. I got a, it's about a four hour drive from where I'm from, but I got a lot of people coming up to support me and stuff. And, um, and I've been to Orlando playing, so I got a lot of friends here as well. So it's, uh, it's going to be a home field advantage for me. And being that you're fighting a guy that's been a veteran of the sport and Pat Healy, I mean, you're obviously got an extensive background also, but uh, fighting a guy like Pat Healy, who's known to come and bring it, who's very scrappy when he gets in there, uh, what do you see here as being your advantages? In my speed, my my toughness, and uh, I think overall I'm better. I think I'm better at him wrestling too, so I don't I don't see any weaknesses for me in this fight. Is it crazy to you that you guys have both had a pretty long career in MMA, but that you fought in former promotions together and have never faced each other? Is that a little strange, or is it now is the right time? Um, yeah, kind of. I mean, he got the strike force. I had already been. That's the only, I think, the only promotion we had in common. And uh, we were scheduled to fight, like, as one of the last bouts of strike force, but I got injured, so I had to pull out. So um, it was going to happen no matter what, though, you know. I mean, I fought his brother a while back, and I know he's been wanting a rematch for a while. So it's going to happen one way or another. Training down at American Top Team, um, you know, you say your wrestling's better than his. What You've been down there for a while uh, with American Top Team. How much strength would you say that you gather from working with a crew like that? Oh, we gather a lot of strength. I mean, we got top wrestlers. We got solid strikers. We got black belts that are... They're all they've done is, is jiu-jitsu since they're kids, so I get to mix all that up and, and go with guys that are real good in one discipline, you know. I've always uh, I've said in my interviews, and it's still the same, we get a lot of guys that, that are just real good at one discipline. And then on top of that, everybody comes to train with us, like uh, fighters in general, so we, the camp is always awesome, you know. Just last night, we saw one of the guys that works down there with you, uh, Dustin Poirier. He came up really huge in that fight yeah. for Zakira. Uh, what did you think of his fight? Oh, I thought it was awesome, man. I mean, Dustin's a killer in practice, and, and he showed it in the fight. You know, he got clipped a little bit in the beginning, but uh, he's just a warrior. You know, the kid loves the fight, man. He doesn't care if he if he doesn't get hit or he gets hit to him. Uh, he can care less, you know. He's one of my favorite guys to watch fight. For a lot of people, I mean, your nickname, Game Bread, uh, they love watching you fight for much of the same reasons, that you're a very exciting fighter in the cage, that you're always one of those guys that leaves everything in there. You'll go out on your shield if you have to. Uh, but you actually haven't been stopped that much in your career, just a, a few times from what I, I recall. What do you attribute to having that kind of longevity, to being able to do what you do and consistently come out and and show the world what you can do? Uh, God, God just, um, favoring me a lot of those situations that, that I've been hurt and uh, just defense, you know, I've always been a natural counter fighter and I like to work my defense as much as possible, you know, so, um, those situations that don't happen when they do, I'm, I'm able to defend, you know. One of those guys that you've clashed against in the past, who's also now in the UFC, is the former Strike Force champion, Gilbert Melendez. Uh, we know that you have fought him before, right? A couple fights before you came into the UFC. Is he somebody that you have your eye on getting back to, to fighting again? Oh, definitely. I think uh, we didn't get to put on the performance that we should have in that fight, me and Gil. It's going to be, uh, eventually we'll meet down the road. You know, I just got to put him to work, get my, my wins and get up there and we'll meet again, sure, sure enough. What do you think it was that you guys didn't get to show? What was it that held back, uh, I guess, for everything that you saw that you visualized from coming to fruition in that fight? Uh, well, as far as I go, um, I messed up my hand in the first round. And I know Gil messed up his foot, you know, so... It just didn't, uh, the fight wasn't all the fireworks that it should have been, you know? Aside from those injuries, I mean, you know, now you're completely healed, obviously. You won three in a row, and then you had a setback to Hustam Kabilov. Uh, but that was still a fight of the night for you. So, I mean, coming off of that loss, what did you learn from it? Uh, I learned uh, a couple of things, you know. I learned that my wrestling is up the par, that I don't 
I emphasize day in and day out a lot of my wrestling so I don't get put on my back. But uh, in the process of that, I've, I've um, neglected a lot of my striking, you know. And I think I've, I've people have caught up and passed me in my striking department. So for for this camp, at least, I focus a lot on striking, you know, just making sure my time is right. And getting back in the win column is obviously important, especially if you want to fight a guy like Gilbert again in the UFC. I mean, he has a title shot coming up here. Uh, how many more fights ahead of you do you think you'll have to uh, win to be able to get up to that top echelon of fighters? Oof, I got no idea. I mean, uh, I, don't, I have no idea to tell you the truth, but as many as it takes, you know. Joe Silva could just line him up and give me one tough guy after another and I'm here, man, to compete, so I, I love it, you know, as many guys as it takes. You know, I know a lot of people have uh, heard about this and seen this, but it was something I was curious about. Um, a lot of people know you from way back when you did some Kimbo Slice videos. How did that come to be? How did that come to be something that you became a part of? Uh, I used to train out of the same gym that Kimbo was training out of. Uh, we are both training at the same MMA gym, and um. We had approached him, and I told him that I wanted to fight one day, you know, that I'd be willing to fight for his show or, or for the thing. I just wanted the experience. And uh, I was at McDonald's one day. A couple of months I passed by, and Kimball's guys, uh, Icy Mike, called me. He's like, hey, you still want to fight? I was like, yeah, sure. He's like, hey, come down over here. So I uh, I went straight over, and boom, we fought. <laughs> it was just like that, real simple. Well, uh, being that you had the 10 knockout wins, everybody knows that you have the power in the hands. And you said for this camp that you've gotten back to that, that that's been your what you had to get back to to be able to win this fight against Healy. If you can get past him, is there somebody that you'd like to face next in the division? Uh, I don't like to call out dudes and give them too much um, promotion or like advertising, but uh, I would like to fight Ruslan again eventually. Not not now, you know, but um, get a couple wins, and once they they think that I'm um, I've done enough work to do it, you know. Cause I thought I uh, the fight was very close, and I thought he won the third round convincingly, and that's what sealed it from. But I thought I won the first and second by a little bit, so I definitely want that rematch. Well, great. Well, we are all out of time here, Jorge, but I'd like to wish you all the best of luck in uh, UFC on Fox 11. Again, he's fighting Pat Bam Bam Healy at UFC on Fox 11. That takes place this Saturday. Limited tickets are still available at Ticketmaster.com. Jorge, thank you again so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Thank you.